Hello everyone, Josh from Adrenal Labs here, and in this video I'm going to be going over the sequencer module in Alto. There's a lot going on in the sequencer module, but the first important thing to understand is that there are two signals that are leaving the sequencer. There are pulse signals, which are blue and leave from these two outputs, and there are value signals, which are orange, and they are sent from these two outputs. To set up the sequencer to send these signals, simply go to the master clock here, and you can see where each voice is at in the sequencer by following this little orange light here. And if I activate multiple voices, then you will see multiple lights appear. To send value signals, simply click up in this box here, and these orange bars will appear. And these orange bars tell the sequencer to send value signals according to the height of the bar when the light is on that step. To send pulse signals, simply click on these boxes down here and they will light up blue, indicating that a pulse signal should be sent at that step. Okay, down here below, we have preset value patterns. We've got a square wave, a sine wave, a saw wave, and a random value generator. And this width knob here determines the length of the pulse signals. The pulse signals are on off and the width is saying how long each pulse signal should be on for. Moving on, this internal host toggle switches between the internal clock of Alto to the tempo of your host DAW. When you click on it, you can see that the rate knob changes from a rate knob to a ratio knob. And this rate knob is gonna be a frequency speed and the ratio knob is a rhythmic note value. The loop button simply tells the sequencer to either loop or not loop. Key trigger, when it's active, it tells the sequencer to start over every time you press a key. The rate knob controls the speed at which the sequencer is moving, and the steps determine how long or how many steps are getting, going to be in each pattern. The offset tells the sequencer to start a certain amount of steps forward from the beginning. So if I set this to three, then we will start on step four. See, we start over here, not at the beginning. The next thing is the range, and the range determines the magnitude of the value signals. So here we have zero to 12, and it's easy to think about the sequencer um, or the value signals of the sequencer at, to control pitch, but that is not necessarily the only thing that it is good for. But it is easy to think about the range as essentially 12 semitones. And that also makes it easy to understand this quantize knob, which locks the bars onto the nearest semitone or the nearest whole value. The glide determines the amount of glide between the value signals. And the last thing here is the delayed outputs. This is the main pulse output, and this is the main value output, and these are the delayed outputs. And if you move the delay knob up, what this means is there will be a main uh, value signal sent when it moves over the value bar, and this delayed output will be sent three steps later. Uh, and the same goes for the pulse signal. And now to demonstrate the sequencer, I'm gonna set up a couple connections. I'm gonna connect the pulse output to the gate, and I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set up the value output to the pitch control of the complex oscillator. I'm gonna set up a sine wave pattern here. Um, and so what you can hear going on is when the pulse signals are being sent, it's telling the gate to open. And when the value signals are being sent and they're mapped onto a semitone, it is changing the pitch of the complex oscillator. And there's some really powerful opportunities with the sequencer. It can be the beginning of a patch. You don't even really need to include the key module in your Alto patch. And there's some really excellent demonstrations of the power of the sequencer in the presets. 
One, our, one of our favorites is this Shruti Malfunction preset, which is an absolutely just crazy sound. And this really highlights the power of the sequencer. As you can see, the key module is not even involved. So hopefully that shows you how powerful the sequencer is and the pretty much limitless opportunities to use it. Thanks so much for watching everyone.